In this video, we will learn about medians and special things that happen in triangles when you look at all three medians at once. First of all, a median is if you have a triangle and construct a midpoint of one of the sides and connect that midpoint to the opposite vertex, the line segment that you have just drawn is called a median. So let's go into Geometer's Sketchpad to construct a triangle with all three medians to see what happens. Here in Geometer's Sketchpad, we have a triangle, and this triangle can be moved to create any triangle we want. So in order to create the medians, the first thing we need to do is construct the midpoint of each of the three sides. So here's the triangle with the three midpoints drawn in. Now to create the medians, we just need to create line segments that go from the midpoints to the opposite angle, like this. And what you should notice is that the three medians all intersect in one point. This is called a point of concurrency, and this particular point is called a centroid. So the three medians of a triangle intersect in what's called a centroid. So this point right here is called the centroid. And no matter how you move the triangle around, that centroid still exists, and it's always going to be inside of the triangle. And keep in mind, it is interesting that these three line segments, the three medians, all intersect in one point. Now the cool thing about centroids, we can't really see in geometer sketchpad, but what the centroid is, is actually the balancing point for the triangle. So if you had this triangle cut out physically and you wanted to balance it on your pencil, then what you would want to do is put your pencil right underneath that point, the centroid, and then it will balance perfectly. So it's sort of like the center of gravity. There's another interesting thing about the centroid and its location relative to the medians that we're going to talk about back in the other screen. So this triangle has all three medians drawn in. So this point right here is the centroid. And the interesting thing about the centroid is that it intersects all three medians at a point that is two thirds the way along each median. So what that means is if segment AD, if that whole thing was nine units long, then AG would be six units and GD would be three units. So G, the centroid, is two-thirds of the way along that median. And it's the same thing for each one, for each median. So, for example, if BE, if that whole thing was three units long, then BG would have to be one and GE would have to be two. So the two things to remember about centroids are one, they are the balancing point for the triangle, so it's sort of like the center of gravity point, and also they are a point that is exactly two-thirds of the way along each of the three medians.